Welcome to Looking For. Today, we are going to talk about Mexico City's Earth Scraper project, but not only that. Burying an inverted pyramid the size of the Eiffel Tower under Mexico City's Central Square. This is the incredible project that the Mexican architectural firm Bunker Architectura proposed in 2009 in response to the extreme land shortage in the capital and the growing need for housing, offices and shops in the historic center. This inverted pyramid is inspired by Aztec culture and is a clever solution to urban development issues in the capital. The city's historic buildings are strictly protected and local legislation prohibits the construction of anything higher than eight floors to preserve the aesthetic of the monuments, but also to avoid a disaster in the event of an earthquake, because the region is especially prone to them. The earth scraper idea meets two objectives at the same time, respond to the real estate demand while preserving the local heritage. The base of the earth scraper was designed as a 775,000 square meter underground structure, covered by a huge glass floor that occupies almost the entire Zocalo Square, allowing pedestrians to walk around freely and admire the 300 meter deep well right under their feet. The pyramid's central void was designed to provide all living spaces with natural light and ventilation. The lower floors will benefit from skylights and fiber optic systems to bring in natural light, similar to the low line system with the plants that grow underground in New York City. According to Esteban Suarez, the agency's founder, the pyramid shape is not just a symbol. He believes the pyramid design is more resistant to high underground pressures, whereas vertical structure requires additional support and tends to collapse under pressure. This shape is also more resistant to the lateral forces generated by earthquakes, which are common and powerful in this region. However, the cost of the earth scraper would be 30% more expensive than a traditional skyscraper due to the excavation work and the complex engineering solutions required to build so deep. In this case, the Mexico City Earth Scraper project would cost an estimated $800 million. For now, the project is still a concept and no date has been given by the authorities. This project raises many questions. The construction of such a building would weaken the soil and the foundations of the whole historical district but also, and more importantly, the residents' practical life. Are we really made to live underground? Would we develop anxiety in the long run? How about you? Could you live underground? Personally, I don't think I could. I need to see the sky too much. While it may never be built, the concept of the Mexico City Earth Scraper deserves credit for inspiring construction professionals and public authorities to consider new development opportunities for the future of our cities. It's not the only one. In 2010, Matthew Frambolotti, an architect from the University of Washington, imagined another underground skyscraper, the Above Below. This original project would be built in the middle of the Arizona desert in the former Lavender Pit Copper Mine. This 275 meter deep building would be perfectly autonomous and would be able to manage its energy needs thanks to solar chimneys that produce electricity and ventilate the inside. There is no more. The idea of earth scrapers, or rather mass scrapers, is seriously being considered for those who are already thinking about living options on Mars. According to architects, this type of structure would be perfect to survive cosmic radiation. The latest projects, such as Niwa, a proposed city for a population of 250,000 planned for the end of the century, would be built above ground with huge greenhouses. However, the idea of troglodyte cities seems to be seriously considered for life on Mars now. Alright, that's it for today. If you like this video, feel free to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you very soon on Looking For. Goodbye.